Yeah. Okay, so he has TMJ with this joint right here. Made him very hard to bridle and very head shy, very difficult. He doesn't want to lower his head. He doesn't want anything to go in his mouth. So one of the things we've been doing along with this kind of stuff is um, working that TMJ. We rub some Rescue Remedy in there or we rub some of that M cream in there and rub it. At first he couldn't handle it being rubbed very much because it was too tender. But now we can rub it a little bit more. But one of the things that has really helped him has been to ask him to stretch his jaw by getting his tongue. We'll just reach in here and get it. Take it out to the side. And then we hold it. And I'm not putting any tension on it. I'm just letting him do whatever he wants to do with it. And he'll wiggle it and then he'll pull against it and put some traction. Like right there, he's pulling really hard, putting some traction on it. And this whole thing is loosening up his whole jaw here. He's a lot better about bridling now. And we noticed before that um, he couldn't open his mouth that wide at all. That's amazing right there. He could only open his mouth just a tiny little bit. And it's all because that TMJ up there was locked up. So I just hold it for a while. Let him goof around. You'll see he gets, you know, that sleepy, dopey-eyed look. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling right there. Oh, cute. And then we just gently let go. And then he'll just kind of goof around with it. And you might see him, he'll move his head around. He might drop his head. Or he might not because Q's like two feet away from him. And he wants to figure out what Q's doing. But <laughs> what are you filming? You. I thought the cat was over there.